Hey there, buds! Welcome to another episode of Project Zomboid House Flip. My name's Damien Darkside, and I'm the one who fell in love with the girl at the rock show. And in this episode, we'll be going over the music festival located on the east side of Louisville. This location is in that weird semi-zone between urban and rural. So you're going to be able to get a couple of trailers in the vicinity, as well as a lot of residential in the surrounding area. But you could still hop over a fence and you're super close to a bunch of woods and forest that you could do a lot of foraging and hunting in. So even though it's away from a lot of the major looting areas that one would traditionally want with Project Zomboid, you still have a lot of options and able to survive in the apocalypse. Now near this single occupancy residency, we have this great shopping mall that's going to be to the north of you, but closer still is going to be a fire station, a couple of restaurants, and a good community too in order to get a bunch of residential loot and hopefully a boarded up house. Because of the festival, you'll actually find a couple of generators nearby and plenty of booze. So you could use those bottles for water. Now overhauling this place was a lot of fun because it's a nice small area that isn't usually thought of when you want to go and hide out somewhere inside the apocalypse. But you don't have to hide out alone because we do have our friends on stage to give us music and entertainment. Our plushy buddies also protect the entrance to our new home. Opening up, you can see that I've added a new pathway over to our garden. Inside, I have multiple patches of crops as well as a couple of barrels in order to keep them all watered. We have gutted the porta potties too. They both now come with a metal crate inside. This way, we're able to keep our tools and seeds away from the rest of our crafting as they could take up a lot of space. Especially if you let crops get to the seed bearing stage, you'll be overwhelmed with seeds after a while. I converted the canvas covered area to a brand new shed. I've added a treadmill and weightlifting area to work out in. I've also added a bunch of lockers so we're able to store our weapons, specifically the ones that have been crafted and tuned. And we also have plenty of storage for other items. Easy access for us to grab whatever we need in order to survive deep into the apocalypse. And maybe one day hold a concert of our own. In the meantime, we also have a hunting and skinning area since we're so close to the forest. I've added an ice box so we could store all of the game that we catch. With it being nice weather out, we want to make sure we preserve that meat for as long as possible, so let's freeze it down. As we head up towards the roof, you'll notice that we have a generator beside us for power with a bunch of gas cans beside to keep it nice and fueled up. And of course on the roof we have water barrels to collect up all the rain so we could have the faucets running down below. With there being wide open concert space, we actually have a great vantage point to take out any Zeds or Raiders that want to come and attack us. Coming down from the roof, we are going to enter our new renovated trailer. Apart from a newly renovated kitchen that adds another fridge and a counter fridge, we have a great spot that has a good computer and a radio that's able to keep track of any survivors that we get in contact with and maybe possibly playing some Wolfenstein 3D in the meantime. We're gonna breeze right through the bathroom because apart from medical supplies, there's not really need to hang out here. So let's go see our brand new bedroom where I had to tear down the walls and replaster them in order to paint them. It's a fairly good space where we're able to have a new bed and a lot of places to put our clothing. And if we wanna relax, we could easily come into our living room where we have a bunch of space for our VHS and our books. This way we could either learn or relax and we don't have to worry about anybody coming up to disturb us. Because we also have this nice pile of junk here that stop any zombies from smashing through. We'll hear them way before they come at us. And speaking about us, come join us in our community. Hit the subscribe button down below and join our Discord in the description. You guys know what to do. See you guys next video.